Hello everyone, this is Kamikaze Redneck bringing you another video on Farming Simulator 2015. Today we're going to be reviewing the Ford F250 um, farm truck. This is a, an 80s truck. Or excuse me, 72. My bad. This is a uh, 70s farm truck. It's pretty sweet. You got the farm mirrors on it. Got the nice tailgate with the um, gooseneck and everything, bumper pull, all that fun stuff. It's got the off road rims on it, which I think are cool and whatnot. As well as lights. So, I think it's pretty interesting. But um, we're going to be doing the normal, usual load test here, just to kind of give you guys an idea of what it's like. Oh. What's up with these trucks? They sag. So these trucks just sag. I don't know why people make them perfectly level and don't put anything in the rear. <laughs> Whatever. Um, this is not. This really isn't too bad, though. So. Three, two, one, go! Let's see here. I'm just gonna do the usual load test here just to kind of give you guys an idea of how good it is at hauling. Um, not too bad, like 35, not bad. This isn't too bad for, I think this one, this probably has a 50, 30, or 351 Cleveland in it, I think. So, nothing too bad. Um, the gauges are there, they just don't work as cool. The interior is a little rough. <laughs> it um, isn't the best, but it's it works for what it is. It's good. That's that's good. So, alright. Yeah, it hauls good. It has, it has decent power. It has, well, excuse me, it has good power for what it is. Like, it's not terrible power. And, um, yeah. It isn't terrible power for what it is. Considering it's a 351, probably. If I had to imagine, I mean, I can't imagine any other motor in this other than maybe if you wanted to get it like a specially ordered 460. But a 460 would probably be faster. So, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, alright, let's do the gooseneck test next to And just see how it uh, matches up. Pull this over here. The uh, I don't know where the tailpipe comes out. That's one thing I haven't seen on this truck. I don't know. This guy must have, like either not put it in or just hit it. <laughs> one of the two. I don't know. One thing I do like though is the uh, cool mirrors that they put on a truck because it is authentic to the time period of having big, big mirrors for like farm trucks like this. So, yeah. oh shit. Can I, this thing is stuck here from last time. Let me, let me, let me see. sag too bad because I got the trailer really balanced so that's good <laughs> so yeah here we're just gonna straighten the trailer out a little more here As you can see the truck's probably ready to fall off but oh well, it's locked so I don't care <laughs> so um here, I'm gonna do this load test three two one and go but um yeah, so it's uh it's pretty exciting. There's only about a month left until Farming Simulator 2017 comes out, so that's gonna be a real interesting game. But uh, it should be a fun, fun game. I just hope the mods come out real quick for it, so start doing more videos on that too. That'd be cool. Um, 
Well, not too bad. Not too bad considering how heavy this truck is. Because a lot of the diesel trucks that I have don't even pull this truck that well. This is a very heavy semi, so. Doing very good for <laughs> doing very good for how heavy the load is, so, and I like how it like handles well. It's not like, shitty. You can still turn it. And it's not like the ass end isn't way down. Even like the Duramax over there, like the 2002 Duramax, like the the ass end of it's like really really low. It's like bad. So yeah, I don't know. Me personally, I like I like how the uh, made this truck and how it handles and whatnot. So I give this thing like a solid, um, I'd say like 4.5 out of 5 or 5 for authenticity. Um, a few things, just being like the interior, maybe a little bit more done up and maybe like a nice tailpipe with a little bit better sound to it. I've heard some of the 350 ones that are souped up. They sound really nice, so maybe, maybe just like one of those like truck sounds. <laughs> they they could find one and uh, nice tailpipe. And, uh, like I said, just the interior, and I think that's about it. All all the outside of it's like clean, clear, and good. Really nothing I can rag on on the outside of it. So. Yeah, but um. like to see about doing some more yeah, let's just let's pull this back here and then I want to review two more trucks for you guys this didn't spawn them in yet oh, let's get out of the way the AI before he headbutts me all the way across the map <laughs> come on come on Okay. 